Good morning. No cold open. We're getting right to it. I hope you're strapped in because we got a big show today, especially if you're a Marvel Legends fan. Today we're going to talk about Marvel Legends top 20 for the year 2020. Yes, I like that. That's pretty clever too. 2020 may go down in history as a 12 month dumpster fire. We are in the middle of a pandemic and we had civil unrest. And even more sad, we didn't get one Marvel movie this year. Aww. Guys, come on. But what we did get was a shitload of Marvel Legends. Yes, folks, we got a gang of them. This is the first year that I ever heard someone complain about too many Marvel Legends being released. Too many Marvel Legends, like, really? And, and here's what I'll say to that. You're not obligated to buy them. And I understand, well, if I don't get them, I'll never get them, I'll pay double. To a degree, some of them. However, this isn't like back in the day where if some people never saw Wade, or you had to pay this crazy price online. Distribution is good. <laughs> Here's what, that's what I will say about Marvel Legends. Uh, some, there's some G.I. Joe fan punching the wall right now. Marvel Legends, I can't front on them. I've seen a lot of the figures I wanted in the wild. I got most of my figures this year in the wild. This is a good honey year. We had a lot of figures come out this year. The first, and it, I think some people were getting theirs in December, that Super Scroll wave. Definitely a Super Scroll, we wanted that. Definitely a good addition to the collection. And then we got that Spider-Man wave, the Demo Goblin wave. And then from the Demo Goblin wave, I believe we got that, that Crimson Dynamo wave. If we would have got Black Widow with that Crimson Dynamo wave, I think um, the figures would have been bigger. It's just they didn't have a movie for that momentum. So shit, I seen a, I seen a few of those today. And this, we're in December, and that came out at the top of the year. From there, we had the Gamerverse wave, where the Abomination was the bat for it. And then from the Abomination wave, we, did we go Age of Apocalypse with the Sugar Man, with the Sugar Man bath. And then from the Age of Apocalypse wave, did we have the Spider-Man retro wave. Even though it didn't have a bath, I consider this Kingpin the bath because it was a big figure. And they could have packaged this as a wave, but then they would have had to build a figure. They're charging the same price. <laughs> They're charging the same price. I thought, didn't we? I thought uh, if they didn't come with a bath, what happened to that? <laughs> I got the Deadpool wave, and now Strong Guy as the bath. And from Strong Guy, from the Strong Guy bath, I think that Punisher came out, and that Ghost Rider. Yes, I forgot the Ghost Rider in the initial, when we were doing um, principal photography for these. I forgot that Ghost Rider. I just happened to stumble on it. I was like, oh yeah, this Ghost Rider came out this year too. I got the Venom Wave. And I got that one in a while then. We just did a show on that last week. And then I, in between, I got the Joe Fix-It, the Joe Fix-It Wave. I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, all those <laughs> X-Men 2 packs those various two packs, those Target exclusives. And oh yeah, the Marvel MCUs, those, we got those this year. This was definitely a big year for Marvel Legends. We got quite a, quite a bit of figures. But today, we managed to boil all that down. And you know, they say cream rises to the top. We managed to boil all that down and pick the best 20 for 2020. That's so clever, I love that. You are amazing. Yes, the top 20. The top 20 Marvel Legends action figures coming right up. Let's go. Number 20. The Gamerverse Iron Man that came out this year. One came with the Joe Fix-It wave and the other came with the Abomination wave. I will say I don't like the aesthetics of the Gamerverse. Wave. I think that uh, Joe Fix-It Hulk is hideous. I Even uh, the standalone Hulk by itself, I just don't like the way they do their faces. I'm not even a big fan of this Gamer vs. Captain America. But here's what I will say about Gamer vs. figures. They are as good action figures. 
they're done really well. Like it's un it's it's undeniable how good the figure is, how well they're engineered. That abomination, even though it's hideous, and yeah, abomination is supposed to be ugly, but he's ugly, ugly. If you get it in hand when you put it together, you have a really good figure. And the Game of Verse Avengers, whoever's working on those, they really it's they're detail oriented with those figures. They they they're engineered very well. I like them. And these Iron Man, beautifully done. Hon these, honestly, these are two Iron Man that could probably are top ten for the collection of Iron Man figures within the Marvel Legend wave. Beautifully done. Number nineteen. Shang-Chi from the uh, Demo Goblin wave. Sleep. Honestly, this is the type of figure that I could see someone having an Instagram page and it's just this figure. I was super impressed with it. It came with a shitload amount of hands, two nunchucks, but what stood out to me is how well the details were on this one. I, I like the way, you know, he had nips. I like the, what's the term, the striations within the muscles really and it articulated well and it was balanced beautifully i i love this figure number 18 bucky barnes aka winter soldier i like this i like this winter soldier i like this winter soldier I, he was a little on the big side he like he feels like a big guy but when you put him next to the other guys he he still works number 17 Walmart exclusive Black Widow. I, I didn't even waste my time with Walmart because I knew I wanted this figure when I seen the picture of it. I didn't even bother hunting. I went straight to the bay. <laughs> I went straight to him. I was really happy with this figure. Good assortment of accessories. And one thing what I will say about, let's talk about that Black Widow way before we finish it. We got introduced to some cool guns because you know we've been complaining about the guns. That Black Widow wave, especially the um, Walmart, no, I'm sorry, the Target exclusive Black Widow with the white. Those guns were great. Those guns were amazing. And they are definitely added to the gun file and everyone's using those guns. It had the shooting accessories and then the smoke. Well done. Just like this Black Widow, her bracelets. I love this, how the smoke comes out and I like the firing bracelets. I like the shield backpack. She was good to go. Number 16, Kang. Yes, I know a lot. It's, he's, he's further down on a lot of, on everyone else's list. Kang, I, I liked him. He was good to go. Number 15. I did it again with the Iron Man. I loved, I loved what we got for Iron Man figures this year. These two, the War Machine and a Silver Centurion Iron Man. I reviewed them early on the show. These figures were great, man. And this is the first time we got that that type of head articulation where it feels like it's floating. I love them, and it's all based off that 80th anniversary book, which was I, easily, I think he was in my top five last year. But the, keep using that body and build on that body. Split it up, the game of verse, and then use the 80th anniversary for those Iron Man. Definitely good to go. Number 14. The mystique that came out. The MCU mystique, because we can say that now. Oh. Now, when I first seen this, I, I seen the promo photos of it. I kind of shrugged, like, okay. Up close, when you get this figure in hand, it is beautifully done, dude. It's Look at the belly. Like, it's, it's sexy. It's a sexy action figure. Because guess what? Mystique was sexy in the movie. I don't know about that blue, and I never realized how much I disliked that bumpy stuff on her face. But hey, this is a good figure, well detailed. They killed it with the MCUs this year. Number thirteen, Punisher Rider. He was hard. Like there's no other way to describe that figure but hard. The two head sculpts, the bandage, and the weapons alone. And that motorcycle, everybody gonna be riding that motorcycle. That's a good motorcycle, man. Um, nice, the black color, how it, mm, wow, cream of the crop. And why I really appreciated this Punisher is because of the two head sculpts. It's like I got another Punisher. I got a new Punisher, I got two Punisher figures. Number 
number 12. She-Hulk. She was in a super scroll. This is a new buck. One thing that'll get me is the you is a new buck. Because I've been collecting these for quite a while. I love this female buck. I wanna see it. I wanna see it on all the heavy hitting females. I would like to see them do a do a, a traditional She-Hulk with this type of buck. Like that old throw that old buck out. This is it right here. She was the details on her are done. Look at that face. Beautiful. She looks oh you see the anguish in her face. Beautifully sculpted, nicely articulated. It's, she's good to go. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a new buck, especially when it delivers. And this buck, we need to see this a lot more. Warpath, bro. And a lot, well, he didn't come with knives. I don't think Warpath was using knives until he was an X-Force guy. So I kind of forgave that. I don't, back in the day, he wasn't a knife guy. He didn't become a knife guy until he became a part of X-Force, which I'm expecting, I'm expecting an X-Force colorway. Don't play with me. You know, it's there. The writing is on the wall. Just make sure you have the knives or do some new knives. A lot of people can't. Oh, he, he wasn't big enough. You can't. You can't be but so big, man. You know, it's he has to also match the 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 other figures. And he was uh, one thing for me when I what makes me decide how well a figure does is where it's gonna sit within the collection. Hey, where's the retro domino, dude? This we're almost this X Force team is here. We got the ones, we just need, we need a Pharrell, a Pharrell, am I saying that, Pharrell? We need a traditional domino. Let me get those two, let me get those two this year. Hook, hook your boy up. Hasbro, <laughs> number. Wait, before we get into number 10, I do have some terrible figures this year. 2020's worst figures of this year. Let's start with Morph. This is a terrible figure. It, it looks like something that I just went into my father box and grabbed random parts and put them together. And I know that's how he looks, but it, he just looks so cobbled together. Ugh. Yuck. <sighs> Thund that Thunderbird from the Storm and Thunderbird 2 pack. Oh my God. What is this mess? He's a mess. Like, you have to really work to get him to look good in the photo. But in my head, I just assumed it was gonna be the Warpath buck just repainted slightly. I was so disappointed. I was very disappointed in this. And that storm, why I got you guys' ear. Yo, what's up? Why can't we get two? That would have been perfect for the double elbows, man. That storm body, the face. Beautiful, the body trash. Number 10. Now back to the good stuff. Coming in at number 10, that MCU cable. Let me tell you something, man. This guy, whoever did this figure, must have been like, I've been waiting my whole life to do this guy. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> ah, man, I liked it. Cause I liked the Deadpool movies. And this cable was so good, man. So good, so good. And he was single carded, man. I can't even, look at deep, beautifully done. They got that face right. And that's one thing about the um, MCUs is when they get the, when they get their face wrong, they get it wrong. I'm still mad about this Captain America. Who the f is that supposed to be? <laughs> Who is that? That is not Chris Evans. How dare you stop? Number nine, Target exclusive Red Hulk. I usually don't get caught in the hype of, I need this figure before it comes out. I need it, I need this figure. I don't get caught up in the internet. I usually don't get caught up in the internet hype. For some reason, this one caught me. Like, I'm like, why can't I get my hands on this act? Why can't I get my hands on this goddamn Red Hulk? Man, so when he dropped the first two weeks, I was miserable. I'm like, damn, I need this Red Hulk. I was taking pictures of red characters just to, 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 to pacify myself. But I eventually got him, and man, I was very happy with him. Good addition to the collection. He's part of that. Th he's part of the Thunderbolts, and he's just a good Hulk. 
Number eight. Age of Apocalypse, Dark Beast. Ugh, man. Look at this figure, it's so, it's done so well. Very accurate to the comic, good articulate. I like him better than, I thought he was just gonna be a repaint of the older beast. No, he's a whole different figure, a whole new face sculpt. Honestly, I don't think we talked about him enough this year. He's really, he's done very well. Number seven. Mm. Venom, Venom Pool. It's Bath, it's so crazy. Baths are figures too, we learned that because it doesn't, just because it's a bath, you can still count it in the figures. I know people are like, well, that's a bath. So it's Super Scroll. Like, and there's, he's a small figure. So, Venom Pool. Like I was saying, Venom Pool. Lovely figure. Just perfect for any Deadpool collector. Perfect for anyone that collects, period. It's, it's done well. Number six. Old Man Hawkeye from the Old Man Logan and the Old Man Hawkeye 2 pack. It should just be called the Old Man pack. This Hawkeye. Remember they, they, they talked about pinless, pinless technology for these figures. This Hawkeye is an example of pinless technology at its best. Oh my God. And then the sculpting, the sculpt is so cold, bro. Comes with another head, the one with the glasses. He's wearing glasses. Here we are, we're at we're at the final, we're at the final five. Let's, I'm excited, let's go, let's go. MCU Venom. Oh, it's, it's one of those figures that it looks good when you see pictures of him, but you will not appreciate him until you have him in your hand and you're posing him. It's, it's doing different things with articulation. That I, that's just amazing, and I hope, I hope they follow suit with the upcoming Spider-Man. You know, you heard that, everybody signed on to that. All the old Spider-Mans, Tobey Maguire, uh, 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 Andrew Garfield. We better get updated figures of those guys. Can you imagine that Spider-Man movie wave, all those Spider-Man figures? I better get them right this time around. Get them right, I don't want that old stuff. I want them new and updated. Number four. Doctor Doom. Oh, wasn't he a great addition? When I, he was so good. I, man, I like that fact that they gave us a modern head and a classic head. The, the, I wasn't even mad at the colorway. It's, it's Doctor Doomish. They do have the retro version of him that's out. I passed on him because it felt kind of redundant. I'm okay. Like I'm not a completist where I have to have every single figure in the wave. And it goes into my philosophy. You can pass on some figures, guys. You don't have to have them all. But yes, it's Dr. Doom number four. Number three. Another MCU. And usually, man, usually I have to, for, my, for the last two years, I had to like, all right, let me, because I, I want to incorporate the MCUs also. like I, Because they're good figures, and I just feel like whoever does them should have props. This year, it was easy for me to put all these figures in this in this category of of the top figure mcu deadpool oh whoever sculpted this deadpool been waiting their whole entire career to sculpt this figure yo this is a perfect deadpool the only thing missing is a ryan reynolds head sculpt no, um, uh, this retro spider-man that came out oh they got the articulation right and now to me it's frustrating when we get other Spider-Man not using this this body. Don't throw that other buck out. I don't want I don't want that buck no more. This is what I want my Spider-Man's on. That that three point ab mid section articulation. Put him in those dope crouching poses. Have him swinging. Man, this is the Spider-Man. I love this body. Perfect. Here we are. We are finally here. At number one and before we get into number one i want to thank all you guys that rock with me i appreciate it you guys give me the inspiration to do this all right everyone i need you to lend all the energy you can spare from the world <laughs> i love doing this i love talking about action figures for some reason when i think about it i've never not had action figures we are all blessed we have to always remember that whatever life we're living, 
we can collect action figures. That's, that's, a lot of people aren't in a position to be able to do this. So be thankful for that. 2020s, Marvel Legend of the Year. I get a drum roll, please. The Superior Octopus. Applaud him. Yes. The Superior Octopus. I love everything about this guy. I love the black, the way it meshes with the gray, and I love the the lime green accent on it. It's just so dope. The gloves. This it was so it's such a simple figure, but it it it, it does so much. The flexibility of it. I love this buck. This buck should be the standard for all Marvel Legends this size. It, should, it, it, should, it definitely. I need a. I need a Deadpool. I need another Spider-Man. I need more characters with this book. A good uh, Bucky Barnes would have been dope with this book. It's so dope. He, he's a dope figure, man. It just. It just messing with this guy. It brings me back to my childhood. It reminds me of when playing with Snake Eyes every day. You know what I mean? It's. It's. It, it has like a ninja-like like essence about it but it's i love this figure i loved it the, when i opened it i was like damn he's pretty he looks pretty cool and then i started messing with him he's he's toy riffing he's very he's fun to deal with you know we take photos we we pose him we whatever you do at the end of the day you're playing with it and he's just a fun action figure to play with and this is why superior octopus is my 2020 number one pick of the year. And that's it. We are finally finished. 2021, here we come, right? Are we ready for 2021? Let's get out of this 12 month dumpster fire. And let's go into 2021 with some positive vibes. You're collecting action figures. You're supposed to be having fun. Anyway, happy new year. We will see you in the new year. Thank you for rocking with me. I am out.